In this video, we will look at factoring out a greatest common factor, that is a binomial. Turns out that when we factor out the greatest common factor, it is any factor that is in common to each term. This means the GCF could be a binomial, or have two terms. For example, we will consider this problem. Notice both parts, both halves, have this group, or binomial, 2y minus 7 in common. That is our greatest common factor. We pull the 2y minus 7 out front, in parentheses, just like it was, and then in the next set of parentheses, we put what is left, whoops, when the 2y minus 7 is factored out. We factor out the 2y minus 7, there's a 5x and a positive 6y left in the expression. We have now factored out that greatest common factor to the front, giving us 2y minus 7 times 5x plus 6y. Let's take a look at one more example, where we see this greatest common factor is a binomial that can come out front. Again, in this problem, we see the 2x plus 1 is in common on both parts. That group, the binomial 2x plus 1, is the greatest common factor. In the next set of parentheses, we put in what's left when we divide out the 2x plus 1. We're left with the 3x and a negative 7. This becomes our solution, 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 7. Even if the GCF is a binomial, we can still factor it out front, just like our other greatest common factors.